by the time week 11 comes around, we'll know who's one, who's two, who's three, and all the way up through the top 25 in the college football playoff rankings. We will know. But tonight, we're going to... We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about week 11 before those rankings come out. And tomorrow, when those rankings do come out, after I come back from the opening night of UNT's home opener against a Division II or three or whatever school that they're playing because, you know, college basketball scheduling is terrible. And I did a video on that already. So let's get started with Penn State taking on Minnesota. Whoo, we Minnesota is riding in on a big time winning streak. There ain't no, and Penn State is also undefeated. Oh boy, is it gonna be one heck of a game? Minnesota needs this. Minnesota wants this. Minnesota is gonna get it. They're gonna get their first real big test. You know, I don't think Nebraska was enough for. Minnesota. Nebraska's not that good. Um, Minnesota should have a good, good game with Penn State. Not going to see that game at night. Um, really, I don't know what you were expecting. Why were you expecting the game to be at night? You know, it's cold up there. It's already cold down here in Texas. You know, it started to get cold. Now it's cold up there. It's going to be hella cold if you play that game at night. So, that's going to be the first real big game of the day <laughs> leading up to the biggest matchup of the season. Maryland taking on Ohio State. Maryland is not very good, so Ohio State should take care of business. Baylor's taking on TCU. TCU is kind of interesting, but at the same time, they just lost to Oklahoma State and Chuba Hubbard. You know, So Big 12 is just kind of middle league right now. We don't know what is going on in the conference. You know, but Baylor, they're going to... They, if, if they win, they, they win. But if they lose, oh boy. You know, Vanderbilt taking on Florida. Who cares? Florida's out of the playoff discussion. Don't even don't even care. What about what about SMU? Huh? Well, SMU's still in the group five hunt for the Cotton Bowl. You know, they're taking on East Carolina, but East Carolina is no slouch. Um, they took Cincinnati to the limit last week, so you know. It is what it is. Oh, dear God, we're taking on Kansas State at 2.30, no less. I don't want this game to be at 2.30. I wanted it to be at 11. This is one of those few times where it's like, I want this game to be over and done with early because well, Texas right now is just absolutely terrible on defense. Still has been all season. The kinks have not been worked in. and they're not. Nothing's working in Kansas State. If they get the run game going with Skylar Thompson, it's gonna be, it's gonna be over. Let me tell you that, it's gonna be over. Oh God, it's even worse. Cincinnati is taking on Connecticut. UConn, by far, is probably is one of the worst teams in the country, and Cincinnati should take care of business. Fair and simple. Unless something happens, which I mean, you know, it does. Uh, Wake Forest taking on Virginia Tech. All Wake Forest has to do right now is win. Uh, they got to they gotta get a victory against Virginia Tech. They want to keep those very slim playoff hopes alive. You know, you think, you think, you think that Wake Forest has no chance, but they have a chance to get to a playoff spot themselves. All they, all they got to do after beating Virginia Tech, of course, is beat Clemson. And win the rest of your game in the ACC. You beat Clemson. That's a done deal. That's a done deal. That's a deal breaker right there. That's going to kind of you into the playoff. Wake Forest, you have my sympathies. You will. You better win this game against Virginia Tech. Iowa and Wisconsin. Who cares? It's Iowa and Wisconsin at a, at a three o'clock game, no less. You know. Both these teams have two losses already, so who cares? Missouri taking on Georgia. Missouri, they're not even supposed to be near, you know, postseason stuff and stuff like that because of what happened. I don't even know what happened, but you know, what happened to Missouri is that they got postseason man. Shouldn't they shouldn't have even been ranked in the first place, and they already had lost, you know, a 
game like early in the season. And Georgia, Georgia, all Georgia needs to do now is keep winning. Um, I know I said that Georgia is kind of middling, and they are. You know, I'm expecting a loss from them somewhere. So, which game is it going to be? Is it going to be Missouri? Is it going to be Auburn? Is it going to be Georgia Tech? Is it going to be the SEC championship? Who knows? Georgia's not good. Not good at all. Notre Dame, who cares? Notre Dame, it doesn't even matter. Clemson, who decided that Clemson should take on NC State in prime time? That is absolutely disgusting. What in the world was ABC thinking? Put, you know, if it weren't for, if it weren't for, um, if it weren't for Minnesota, basically saying, well, no, let's not do this at night because it's going to be cold, which is understandable. But good God, why? Why Clemson, though? Who cares about NC State? They have four or five losses. Who cares? Get that trash off of here. And then, you know, we got Iowa State taking on Oklahoma. Oklahoma, hey, you remember them? They were also off last week. Surprising, right? Surprising that it's not an 11 a.m. game either. Oh, my goodness. But Iowa State is a real interesting team. I think they only have two losses right now. Really interesting team. And Oklahoma's going to be thrown in for a loop if they play down to their competition once again. They they if they lose their second game. Oh, it's over. You know it's over. You know, it's going to be sad, 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 sad times for Jalen Hurts if Oklahoma loses another game this season. You know, they did not look as dominant as they should have. They looked beaten. They looked destroyed. And even though they mounted a big comeback against San Jose State, oh, no, it wasn't going to work this time. And then, you know, you got a couple of ranked Mountain West teams, you know, Boise State taking on Wyoming and, the, and San Diego State taking on Nevada. Now, keep in mind that San Diego State and Boise State, I think both of those teams only have one loss. So, you know, it's all good in the hood. There's going to be a hunt for, you know, the Mountain West Championship and everything like that. All those two teams have to do is keep winning. They'll meet each other in the Mountain West Championship for sure. But lastly, 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 is the biggest game of the season probably going to be number one versus number two still, no matter what the rankings say. LSU, Alabama, Joe Burrow taking on a possibly, you know, healed up completely to a Takavailoa. Nick Saban, Ed Ogeron, biggest game of the season. Two defenses that, you know, of course, Alabama's defense, strong all season. LSU's defense, strong at times, but kind of big 12-y, you know, when it comes down to it. You can't allow 24 points to Vanderbilt. I will never forget that. You can't allow 38 to Texas. Can't forget that. Offenses that are elite running backs all over the field. Wide receivers. LSU has speed. Bama, speed. Jerry, Judy. You know, guys like that. It's going to be the most interesting game of the season. And I know people are complaining that, oh, well, this should be a night game. Wah! CBS sucks. Wah! Stop your whining. You you knew good and damn well that this game is going to get selected at 2.30. It was selected like two weeks ago to be at 2.30. And they weren't going to pass up Notre Dame, Georgia. It doesn't even matter that Notre Dame and Georgia are trash teams that don't really matter in the national landscape of things. Like, Georgia's really good. I'm serious that Georgia's going to be out of the playoff hunt very, very soon. I'm serious. But anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. LSU, Alabama is going to be a high-scoring game. It is going to be the most interesting game all season long. And before the playoffs even start, it's going to be very interesting to see what in the world is going to happen. Is Tua going to play? Is Burrow going to go lights out? We don't know. I don't know either. But it's going to be one heck of a game. That's probably, you know, keep, just, you know, just don't even do anything after 2.30. Just don't even do anything. Don't even go outside. Don't, 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 don't go, go, don't go party. Don't go do nothing. 
you stay in and you watch the number one, number two teams in all of college football. That is going to be the biggest game of the season. I guarantee it. It is going to be big, big time rankings. It don't matter. It don't matter. Bama, LSU, are you ready? I am going to be ready. I'm going to have Texas, of course, you know, on the split screen. You know, and we'll be all the and all the Texas fans will be depressed like I am right now with our team. But I'm gonna pay a lot of attention to LSU Alabama as well. Oh boy, gonna be an interesting week. Let's go. Tell me when those rankings come out in the morning.